Welcome back to Sports Tonight, we're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Time to bring the discussion back home now. Talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League and, of course, the one we've been loving to talk about lately, the Nigeria Women's Premier League. But let's begin with the Nigeria Professional Football League. Yes, just in case you don't know, there was a rescheduled game played today. Oh, yeah, I'll get you talking. Rivers United and MFN. Well, a very crucial game for Rivers United. Uh, they need to get off from the position they are on the table. For MFN, they were believing that if they can win, they can and cut the lead of Plateau United, but it didn't go their way. Yeah, Rivers United got the three points. I mean, very crucial. Um, they, they needed to do that to you know, move out yeah. of relegation waters, and this victory has uh, moved them to the 14th position. For MFM, you know, continued their miserable away from. Mm -hmm. I mean, this season has not um, been yeah. impressive for MFM. Yes, they, they've you know, they've turned uh, their game stadium into a fortress, literally, but yeah. away from home, They've not shown that, um, mm. that uh, you know, uh, impression that um, the I team desires of winning the title. And I was telling Joseph before we came on air that if you really want to play on the continent, yeah. then you must win away games. Mm. If you cannot get the away points in Nigeria, it's going to be pretty difficult yeah. when you play on the continent. Yeah. So yeah. They, they have to do something about that. Mm. Mm. Very, very disturbing, quite frankly. You know, when you look at the last two games, 3-1, 3-1 away, you know, they've been losing away goals in truckloads. So this is not how... I mean, at times, I just look at them on the table. They are second on the lot. Most likely, they would get a continental ticket. And is this what we are going to present before the whole of Africa? Mm. It's quite disturbing. You know, if they can't get a point in Sunshine, in Akure, and the, within the region, how can they get a, po a point against Experience, you know, the top teams? So, so really, if you really look at it, if one is to look at their way from, you realize that in the continent, they will really be a total embarrassment to Nigeria, quite frankly. When you look at the results, the, the rate at which they but lose away games. Yeah, but Some difficult. of them, they go as far as losing up to 3-0. And they complain about things from that... Home. And if you look at this game, oh yeah, let's just cut yeah. MFM some slack yeah. because Rivers United, they need this game, they needed this victory, and 1-0 tells you it was really a difficult match. Remember, they also got a red card. Yeah, they needed the victory. I mean, but Harcourt is not um, a stadium that uh, has, I mean, Rivers United don't get vociferous fans. Yeah. They had to Most go on the play, aggressive yeah, marketing, mm. literally begging fans to come and watch their continental games. So when you go there, you are not going to get intimidated. I mean, Sunshine went to Ilori, you know, and Ilori is always filled mm. to capacity, mm. and they beat ABS 4-2. So why would any team complain that uh, they can't get a away victory? What we are saying here is, you know, practical terms. You, you, the Rivers United didn't qualify for the quarterfinal because they lost one game at home against Club Africa, mm. and they didn't get any points away. You know, mm. it's simple. So if you must play on the continent, you must get that winning mentality yeah. both home and away. That's what we are talking about. Because, if you because these teams are going to represent us on the continent. Uh, okay. uh, and the funny thing about it is that the coach tends to even rest some of his best players when it comes to away games. I mean, that alone is just a way of saying we can afford to lose this game. You know, and, and that's quite disturbing when you don't play your best legs away. It's just the but, 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 but you know, it's quite technical disturbing. Thing. Maybe, no, 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 maybe no, no. they're not just fit enough. For, I get what you guys they, they, are saying. They're not fit all MFM, the time. They have been woeful on the road. Oh, and for you to make an impact on this league table, you must win away yeah. games. You must pick points away from home. But um, two sides to the story. And you guys want away victories. Rivers United says, oh, so you think we'll just come, to fold our hands and let them beat us it's, right, it's right, it's right, right, right now? It's not the level of consistency. You don't realize the, the number of team. away games yeah, it's that they the, lose. It's, it's, it's almost as if it's, this is not just a trend. It's almost as if it's the norm. Mm. But, I, but, I, but it's, it's kind of reversal of fortune. Last season, when they, they almost got relegated, mm. they were very good. Yeah. They, I remember their first, <laughs> their first game away from home, they in Makodi, they beat mm. National United. That's right. You know, but this season, it, it's like the strategy has changed. Yeah. Mm. They pick all their points at home. At home. Yeah. They just and, harvest it at you know, home. And what, what is happening is that home, when they play home, they move up. Mm. When they play away, they, they come they, down. It's almost certain. The league changes skin, guys. That's, yeah. what it is. That's how you know a league that is competitive. Yeah. So confirmation of the result for you. Rivers United won, MFM 0. These guys want away victories. Home teams want to win in front of their fans. So whatever the case is, we will continue to monitor the league management company. They've come out with some decisions. You're a fan of Sunshine Stars, Cano Pillars, and get ready to smile. The league management company, they have relaxed the closed-door ban on Cano Pillars 
and sunshine stars. I'll get these guys talking uh, because on social media, some persons are saying, no, 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 not a bad time. Not yet, not yet. We've not seen changes. Well, that's what the LMC have uh, decided upon. Uh, Closed up ban on Cano Pillars and Sunshine Stars have been lifted. The LMC are to use the next two home matches of Cano Pillars and Sunshine Stars to assess the level of compliance with safety and security measures. Very, very important. Sunshine Stars to continue playing home games in Jebu Ode until club fully complied with LMC um, safety measures. LMC throws out Niger Tornado's protest against AIMBA for allegedly fielding suspended Ikechiko Ibenebu in their March Day 28 game in Calabar. But the league organizers ruled the Niger Tornadoes petition failed to establish breach of LMC status on players' eligibility. When you're in all of these, um, Canopilla, Sunshine Stars, you think are right move by the LMC? Yeah, we, we must have to state things uh, the way they are, Austin. Um, for Sunshine Stars, they remain in the Jabode. Mm -hmm. They are not going back to Akure, yep. mm -hmm. uh, but they will have the opportunity of uh, you know, having fans watch their home matches, adopted home ground. <laughs> this, the same thing with um, Canopilla. You know, the, the, I think, I just hope that these teams have learned their lessons. Yeah, that's the key. You know, uh, yes, the LMC said they are going to use the next two home games to see if they have complied fully, mm. you know, with uh, the status. But uh, they, they, they have a lot to do, especially the management of the clubs, yeah. um, educating their home their fans. fans it's, it's, it's not a do or die affair. Yeah. Mm. Sunshine Stars have gone to Ilori. They got a 4-2 uh, victory. Hmm. You know, the, the, the fans in the lorry did not um, wreak havoc. They didn't cause mayhem. You know, so they should use some of these instances. Educate their fans. When you lose at home or you draw, it's not the end of the world. The world has not come to an end. Support the team. That's why you are supporters. True, thick and thin. Yep. It's not only when they are doing well. When they are not doing well, support them in one way or the other so that they can even go away and win away matches. Okay. You know, so they have a lot to do. I just hmm. hope. Mm. that these fans will not deny themselves the opportunity of watching their home team. Yeah. Sunshine Stars under Dukudi, you know, seem to be experiencing some form of resurgence. Mm -hmm. So let them the avail themselves of the opportunity. to support your, your team positively. Yeah. Let them feel your impact. We call them the 12th man in football. So when, you're, when your fans, when your players are not even comfortable with the presence of fans, then there's a problem. Yeah, there, there's need for education to, right. to be increased. And, uh, mm. Because it's almost as if as it is now, it, it, it's almost a taboo for a home team to lose at home, <laughs> and which is very, very wrong. And uh, it's not good for the, for the game. Uh, it's not good for good publicity. It's not good for so many grounds. It's totally unacceptable mm. so they really have to on that area do what is necessary to increase security very important yep, yep. you know because whenever you are playing a game at home i mean it must be said that the possibility of losing is there no matter how minute it is mm. so so they need to improve the security so that the away team would also you know fancy would also be comfortable playing and then educate the fans is very very key mm. because we can't continue to have this look at these two suspensions as a result of home victories and not just that heads were broken and it's quite unfortunate. Whenever mm. a team mm. loses a home match, few heads get broken. It's almost a trend now. Whenever you see the result, you begin to wonder what is the story behind whenever there is an away victory. You say something must happen. There must be a story behind it. Mm. So it is high time all these things are, they are nipped mm. in the board and mm. they, it doesn't become a norm because I agree. It, it, it's almost a tradition well, now. Would you, you were so on point because now Sunshine Stars yeah. travel to Ilorin, they won convincingly yeah. and there was no trouble, no trouble. so the, the fans can also look at that i say look our team went away they won and nobody touched anybody yeah, absolutely i mean the the, the akure fans um no disrespect meant they they, they they have you know been unfair to their team yeah. mm. season every season they cause problems they are banished two seasons ago they were banished to the Teslim balogo stadium you know on account of the or really or really fans you know, you, you don't have to create problems for the team. Mm. Uh, when you play away from home, it puts financial burden on the management because now you are going to pay hotel accommodation there you go. away from home. When you are pay, playing at home, yeah. you already have yeah. you know an arrangement most of them you come know, from that home. will reduce your financial you burden. And put silly pressure on the players. Oh, when you remember when they were banished to Teslim Balogu, they were even contenders for the top six. And then it just affected their season in the wrong way. And I remember they even, you know, hammered Rangers. Almost 5-0 five or 5-1, five, five if, if I'm not, if I'm not mm. mistaken. So mm. why will you, you know, instead of supporting your team, it's <laughs> like you are even against your team. Mm. So the Akura fans need to have a rethink and, you know, play the role mm. of real supporters. Mm. So that's it. Uh, we're just taking a look at the LMC decisions on uh, Kano Pillars, Sunshine Stars. Uh, they also um, made uh, a decision on Niger Tornado's protest that um, 
in backfield a player that is not eligible for that match. So the league management company is very straightforward. They're telling us that they have their eyes on the league and they want it to be good, to be developed. They want it to get to that level where we'll be comfortable to go to the stadium, watch football without any fear. We won't say well done to them. At least these decisions are coming. They are timely and we don't get to wait forever. Let's go to the Nigeria Women's Premier yeah. League now. That's one got us talking big time. Away victories here and there. Big wins for Delta Queens, Rivers Angels Group A is looking so competitive. Now, last night, Coach Edwin Okon was here with Charity John. They said they are in Lagos to win, and they did. They defeated FC Robo Queens 3-1. Oh, yeah, this is how to win away from home. This is a big team headliner anytime, any day for women's football in Nigeria. And, and a way victory we saw. Yeah, Austin, if I may say, when you look at uh, Group A, mm. They are coached, you know, the, almost all the teams they are coached by foremost internationals. Mm. That's right. You know, um, River Angels, Gordon Okon, mm. uh, the man that um, won the AWC in uh, 2014 with the Super Falcons. Mm -hmm. Abia Angels, the present assistant yeah. coach, Anna Agumano. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then Heart Heartland Queens, Yukari Auchi, <laughs> you know, also coached the Super yeah. Falcons. So yeah. you, we are not short of uh, quality hands. And, and perhaps that's why there is so much. Mm. You know, competition, so much rivalry mm. in this team. I mean, Rivers Angels playing hapless Robo Queens. Robo Queens, yes, very good on their own, in, in mm -hmm. their own right. But the superior firepower of uh, Rivers Angels, a team that is made up of, you know, Super Falcons, mm. a lot of Super Falcons mm. players. Yeah, mm. you can call them the Galacticos. The Galacticos. The Nabia Angels losing to Bayelsa Queens. And Nabia Bayer. Angels have been on good form yeah, lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now they lost at home to Bayelsa Queens. It tells you, it tells you guys one thing. Yeah. You guys looking for away victories. <laughs> Follow the Nigerian women's yeah. Premier League. You'll see yeah. away victories. We'll come back to that discussion. Yeah. It's supposed to be on Channel TV. Let's go on another quick break. When we come back, we'll stay with the Nigerian Women's Premier League. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Thank you.